Be honest, when you're packing for a trip, how often do you do the wallets, keys, cell phone, tickets check? Verify viewer Angel texted us to ask whether that check needs to include ensuring you have the right ID, or more specifically, a real ID. So Angel, let's verify. Do you currently need a real ID to fly in the US? Our sources are the Department of Homeland Security and the DMVs in California, Texas, and North Carolina. In 2005, Congress passed a law that set a new federal standard for states to take when verifying a person's identity to issue an ID. Our DMV sources say these real IDs are signified by a star in the top right corner. The law originally required people to have a real ID by 2008 if they wanted to board an airplane or enter secure federal facilities, like a courthouse or military base. But states asked for several extensions, and the deadline was pushed back a number of times. As of 2022, 17 years after the law was passed, DHS estimated less than half of state or territory issued IDs are compliant, meaning more than 100 million people don't have a real ID. But now they'll get plenty of extra time to upgrade. The federal government delayed plans to start enforcing the real ID law until May 7, 2025. So no, you don't currently need a real ID to fly, but you will in about two and a half years. In addition to a real ID, you can use a passport or some other federally issued photo ID in 2025. The changes will continue to exempt children under 18 from needing an ID, and you'll still need a passport if you're traveling internationally. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis.